Okie dokie. So now we're covering young Rippa 59. So, I mean, is Rippa a species? Is he a young one? What does the 59 stand for? I don't know. So many questions, but they don't matter. He is the young Rippa, number 59, 59th uh, Rippa. Anyways, this man, comics, gaming, liberty, music, uh, he's, he's basically just a reactionary leaning channel. Um, there is this bitch uh, who got fired. I watched Bosch's video on that, like today actually, and um, I'm not really going to talk about that, but other than say that like you're a little cunt to complain about this, <laughs> um, uh, if, if you want to know what I think about it, just watch Bosch's video. I'm not, I'm lazy. Uh, you know, Biden shit, fringe, Wonder Woman, racism defeated. Like this, this Wonder Woman thing does look pretty cringe erasing aunt jemima aunt jemima aunt jemama i don't know what how the fuck to say her name but like just getting rid of her doesn't really do anything to racism in my opinion but what we're looking at today is leftist hate homeschooling because they don't get access to your kids now listen i don't know much about mr ripa I do not watch his content regularly. I, I am simply reacting to this title. And I know that he likes to respond to other people. Like, uh, you know, he's done this with Xander Hall and he's made a whole response. Uh, if you're going to do that with me, which I, I you know, I'm small. I, I doubt you're going to do anything. But if you are, I'd love to just talk to you about it instead. So I'm going to try to be a little nice here in case you do want to talk to me because I have a feeling that you name search. So yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna try to be reasonable, but I'm simply reacting based off the title here. And this title being leftists hate homeschooling because they don't get access to your kids. Uh, I am a leftist and I do hate homeschooling, but it is not because I want to access your kids. I, I fucking hate kids, okay? Uh, the reason why I hate homeschooling is because the quality of homeschool is just not as it's not as good uh you know quality of life wise in my opinion for kids uh i think that kids need lots of social interaction and they also need time away from their parents and they need to be able to experience the world by themselves and experience other people and in a homeschool environment you really just don't get as many of those social situations. And I think that that leads to, uh, you know, a lower quality upbringing. That's just my opinion though. Additionally, when it comes to things you learn in school, you learn things in school that you, you know, you can't learn if you have a certain type of family. Like if your family is really conservative, like you're probably gonna get a really shit sex education and then that could really fuck you over, all right? And I don't, I don't like that. I don't like when people have shit sex educations and then they're fucked. Like, like they can get, they can end up getting abused and then not understand what happened to them because they didn't get educated on what any of the sexy stuff is. And that's a problem. I have a problem with that. So I prefer public education over homeschooling because of those reasons. Now, you know, since this title is wrong, let's see what else he has to say. All right, all right, sorry. So, 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 look, we know because of the COVID situation, there has been a, a pivot, a shift on a lot of people when it comes to schooling in this country. This is giving people the opportunity to revise, uh, not revise, but reconsider their own personal positions because a lot of people were big fans of public schools, though I have always considered the public indoctrination, not always, but certainly in my political enlightenment. They're realizing them for what they are in their political indoctrination camps. Um, and they are political indoctrination camps. Yeah, sorry. I don't I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Uh, you're going to need to educate me. As someone who has been to public schools, I'm in a public school right now. I'm, I'm studying at a university. That's technically a public school. Yeah, I, I would totally love to know about this uh, 
indoctrination camp uh, system that we got going on. If you mean learning that gay people exist and trans people exist, then sorry, you're full of shit, and I don't think that we can have much of a discussion, but uh, if it's something more than that that maybe I haven't thought of, uh, hit me up. Hit me up. I am a leftist. Um, because of COVID, and COVID. you saw what happened with the teachers' unions, how powerful they are, and them demanding basically to not be able to go into work in the same capacity for those that are more effective learners when it comes to in-person learners, which every student isn't. Um, uh -huh. You're saying that there's a problem there. Okay. Okay. There's no problem. There's no. Uh, there was no problem. There is a problem there, but m I would say there's no problem with them not being there. Get them out of those damn rotten ass educational centers. But because those conversations continue to ramp up, you're seeing. Okay, wait, wait. Uh, I'm confused on your position. Is it okay? Wait. You like went back and forth, and then you said get them out of those rotten education systems. Okay, I think I've. I think I understand your position now. Okay, listen. I would prefer if we didn't have homeschooling, but like, I don't want to make homeschooling illegal. I don't know. I'm not fucking authoritarian like that. I'm a libertarian, so I'm going to be logically consistent with my ideals. Yeah. A lot of stupid stuff. Check this out. This is a blue check mark uh, by the name of Jill Filipovich. Jill. Okay, I can't read this. We're going to have to turn the quality up. A writer, lawyer, author, and uh, she gives news and analysis on women's rights. Just basically your typical blue check mark. Says right wing groups love to push homeschooling because it helps keep their kids from material that might challenge their conservative worldview, and it keeps women out of work and in the home. It's a pretty transparent set of motivations. Not good for women or children. Okay. I agree. No, I she agree. Says some other stupid stuff uh, uh, that will go down in in, in a little bit, but. They're being open and they say the quiet parts out loud. That's exactly true, right? And, and it's not just with conservatism or anything like that. If you, uh, what, what they want to do is control your kids, right? Uh, and what they want to do is be able to. Nah, bro. It sounds like you want to control your kids. We, w I want kids to go to public schools so they're exposed to different ideas that they don't typically see in their household. You just want to keep them in their household, so they're only exposed to their household. I, I think the logic follows that you are more controlling of the kids than I. But, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just a dumb leftist cat girl. <laughs> With the parents raising them, and this is why I say it's, you shouldn't be dropping them off in their indoctrination camp because... That's where they're going to be spending a lot of their time at, and also they... you're also you're, you're you're very much fear mongering, uh, with the term indoctrination camp. It's a fucking public school, dude. It's not a camp. It's not a camp. They're not getting drilled like SJ. <laughs> they're not getting SJW talking points drilled into them. Like, oh yeah, fucking hate all men. Yeah, white people bad. Like, it's not. It's not like repeat after me. All straight cis white men are awful garbage. Like that's not what's going on at school. Like you still do school stuff. You learn, you learn your reading. You learn your math. You learn your science. You learn, you learn all that stuff. You just have access to other people with other views, and also, you know, you you meet a variety of, of teachers, and uh, there's also sexual education. They are there, K through 12. There's a lot of indoctrination that can happen over the course, no matter how good of a parent that you think that you are, right? Because basically they're unlearning the minute you drop their ass off and you put them in that environment. But they're open about it and the fact that what they want to do is it ain't anything that's unique to conservatism or any of this comply anything. They want control of your kids and they want them they want to teach them things that it ain't about challenging. No, it's what things what you are would teach them outside of what they teach them is wrong, is incorrect. Let them tell it. So she's correct in the idea that yes, it would challenge them. They know that, right? They are raising they are literally breeding leftists out of these mills, man. They're breeding left. This is why all these young folk are are coming out the way that they are. I say it all the time. Look no further than that public indoctrination camp. If you're confused, like why are all these young people 
thinking like this. Why are, why are they like this? Well, look no further than that. You have them in the institution. <sighs> the education system doesn't agree with me, so uh, everyone who comes out of it not agreeing with me has been uh, brainwashed from the factory leftist farm. <laughs> Dude, you sound conspiratorial. Like I'm I'm going to have to see some evidence. I'm I'm just I'm going to have to see like like also what the fuck are you talking about? What what is what is the what do you not want these kids to hear? What do you not want these kids to hear? I want to I want to know. What is it? What 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 gets you so upset? I mean what if the parents homeschooling the kids are teaching kids that gays are subhuman like and, and they should be discriminated and not respected and and, and that you sh if you see a gay person in real life you should start calling them bad stuff like because because that sounds pretty typical of a conservative household that that sounds like something you would learn <laughs> in a conservative house household it, it, and and if if you're afraid of learning in school otherwise that I, I think that's very very indicative of the type of person you are <laughs> for a very long time and then you put them in another institution where they a lot of them get worthless degrees in the uh, you college that's where that i am advanced learning from what they got there and it's not just with the material the curriculum it's with the environment man so, uh, uh, rather, the atmosphere, the learning environment and the atmosphere. So they are coming, uh, what's coming under attack is right now is private school and homeschool because they know that they can't get a hold of your children in the event that. Man's literally saying a learning environment and learning atmosphere, bad. This just comes off as anti-intellectualism to just say oh they get all these fancy degrees and it's like they learn advanced leftism like is there advanced conservatism can you get a degree in conservatism i don't know you can get a degree in sociology and if you are a sociologist you're probably pretty left-leaning um just because you know and i've covered this on my channel before uh Educated people tend to be a bit more uh, liberal leaning, just based on uh, you know the Pew Research study that you could look at if you Google are more educated people liberal or conservative. <laughs> it's easy. It's easy. Just Google search shit. That you put them there. That's why they hate it so much. Who hates it? Because they roll out all the propaganda. And there's a little truth there. There are kids like, that you know, hate it. There are kids that hate school like because they're being brainwashed you're being brainwashed you wouldn't really be able to know about it like also why are you speaking on this you're not a fucking kid in school you're gonna have to show me a kid in school that that knows they're being brainwashed and that hates it to at least give me an anecdote an anecdote but you as someone who isn't in school right now do not have any authority here i'm in college I am a leftist, but I came into college as a leftist. I came out of high school a leftist. I started learning about politics in, in high school, towards the end of high school. And um, I've just kind of, I've just kind of moved further left. Uh, I think I would definitely say I started right leaning because I, I grew up in kind of like a religious household and I, I started right leaning and then I, I just moved further left as as I grew up. Is it because of school? No, it's more because of just things I learned on the internet uh, and various internet creators. I wouldn't say it was because of school. So, I don't know. Personal take from a student who's also a leftist. I don't feel like school, school itself uh, played much of a role. I mean, most of my friends early on were pretty reactionary, so... That's that. But yeah, it'll challenge. It will challenge 
them because they will be teaching them something that's antithetical to what would you be teaching them now it, why is it their job to do that i need to know like why are you vague that, posting okay, i just want you to teach them these particular subjects help this child learn what he's good at what he might be interested in and it's something not like teach them what to fucking think um as far as uh or rather how to think because oh he's an end cap that's teach. interesting but she also said the pet issue of mine someday i'll write about it at length but the whole conversation about homeschooling would go very differently if we believe children had a right to high quality education wow oh we believe children had rights at all separate from their parents yeah they do have uh uh certainly certainly rights but there are parental rights in that regards anyway but it all she's what she's saying is again she thinks that she has control of your kids not necessarily her in particular but that's the the state you know the indoctrinators uh, that control the public schools please do not tweak my talks about what motivates right-wing groups to push homeschooling it does not say that parents who homeschool have a single set of motivation they certainly do not please work on reading comprehension uh, of course it's not necessarily what you're saying you're just saying that they would push for homeschooling because, well, that right wing line of thinking, uh, which just means non left is generally coming from them. <laughs> right leaning thinking just means non leftists. Very specific. That that definitely right is just not left. <laughs> that helps me understand what you're talking about very well. <laughs> Listen, listen, I think that uh, conservatism in general is an ideology that thrives off of maximizing human suffering. This is my opinion. If you look at it, people who are conservative have been basically on the wrong side of history uh, for a very, very long time. So, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's usually... Uh, the more conservative people who are racist, sexist, homophobic, transphobic, you know, generally bigoted. They're also big uh, proponents of capitalism. And they like to uphold the, uh, dis the disproportionate state of, like, the flow of income that's in our country. They like to keep it unequal, where, you know... Only a few people get to keep all the money and the rest of the people are fucking around with a half of a percent. <laughs> uh, conservatives typically are the ones that want to keep it like that. Democrats and Republicans are both uh, conservative in this sense. Uh, they both want to uphold this status quo, but you're not really... I, I mean, I haven't at least found uh, a hardcore, you know southern big conservative rust belt bitch person uh talking about seizing the means of production and making it so you know the, the distribution of wealth is more equal but i don't i don't fucking know wealth inequity wow look at you yeah right <laughs> that's what i said he ins he supports indoctrination he's like oh the leftists have indoctrination camps but like Right-wing homeschooling is okay. I don't, I don't fucking, like... Like, at least I've dis defined, you know, what happens at school? You learn, you're reading, your math, your science, and your other bullshit. And, and you also have experiences with other people that may not agree with the people who live in your house. Okay? That, that, is, uh, that is public education. Then you have homeschool. Specifically, right-wing homeschool. You're probably going to be raised to be a bigot, honestly. <laughs> honestly. That's my thought. That's my thought. I don't know. If, yeah. Projection is a well-known trait of a fundamentalist or just, just any reactionary in general. Is, is it's only indoctrination if I don't like it. And if they were uh, homeschooled in private school, they'd be deprived of the education that you would, of course, offer them in the public schools. See, public schools are rotten as a motherfucker. They're rotten as, rotten as all get out. You know, you've heard me say this. Can, can a you lot. tell me why? But there's that's one thing that you can do that it's not easy. May even be uh, may may cost you. Okay, you're but not gonna tell me why. You you're not gonna tell me why, aren't you? Ripa disliked the right though. 
I don't know. He seems to be kind of sucking their dick right now, Kevin. I don't, I don't fucking know. He seems to he seems to be all about it. He seems to be all about that nice long homeschool right wing uh, cock. That that's that seems to be his jam right now. You can do to help the future generations is get them out of those damn. You see how rotten they are. If anything, that you got peeled on what happened with COVID and that you see how rotten they are. You see how these institutions operate when it comes to the, uh, the, the, the teachers unions, how powerful they are, how they are basically arms of the Democratic Party. Um, why would you want them teaching your kids? And why you would allow the enemy to teach your kids is beyond me. The great Malcolm X. The enemy? Something we got an us lines. versus why them. Why would you allow your enemy to, to educate your kids? Why would you do it? Now, here's the thing. When it comes to... Uh, um, uh, why you know we had Corey DeAngelis every time I talk about education I bring him up because we had a great conversation that you should go watch on a previous episode of For Canon's Sake and we discuss how you know uh, there's this growing school choice movement there's this growing fund the fund the the, the, the students not the institutions and that just that hate they hate that because what it does is allow people to keep their money which is more so what it's working for keep the money parents keep their money so they're not double taxed in the event they want to take the uh, you know school take the parent to uh, excuse me their child to another school and if the parents wanted to do that and that's what sucks and you're seeing that ha- the problem that that creates with the COVID situation that you have kids that are better learners when it comes to in-person learning, learning, and in some districts they are they can't do that. This is because the teachers unions have refused to go back to school, and you can't like take your money and say, "I ain't bet." If that's how y'all go act, I'm taking my money elsewhere. That they don't allow that, and that's a reason why because they want you to be incentivized to drop them off in the imp- and be dependent on the public indoctrination camp. That's what they want. Yeah, you'd be sounding hella conspiratorial, my man. <laughs> That's exactly what they want. And it, and it will be a, a fundamental problem in the event that you kept your money and you were able to fund your child's education by whatever means that you wanted to uh, and, and going to whatever institution. So if the school sucked, you could remove them and simply take your money with you and go to that. That makes all the sense in the world, but it doesn't make sense for the state. It makes all the sense for the parents. It makes the sense for the market. You, you'd have more of an actual market economy when it comes to the 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 school, right? Because they'd be having to compete against each other because they have to compete for each other. How about we just make school free? Like, I don't think that you should have to pay for knowledge and education and, and learning. How about... How about this is just funded, funded by the, 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 the government or taxes or whatever the fuck. So we don't have to have a competition because a competition means that someone is left behind. And I don't want a whole school full of fucking kids to be left behind in a competition for education. And I think education is a fucking human right. Yeah, I don't really give a fuck about what you're saying. I just think we should make school free. Ah, uh, yeah. Very simple. Because it's dollars, they're not relying upon taxpayer dollars. And they'd be able to fund whatever institutions that they want to fund. See, that would make too much sense for the parents. But it doesn't make sense for the state. Because they can't get control of you in the event that they do that. What do you mean? Take your money if you don't like our education that we're that we're doing. You would take your kid to a school that's maybe down the road or something like that. What do you mean do that? That makes a lot of sense, but that's not what it is they want. So they roll out the propaganda right. This man's a conservative. Right wing, right wing, all this bull crap that they say. They say that you hate poor people in the event that you are uh, against public education. All of that you hate. Right, you hate black people. You hate everything. All this other stupid stuff that they. No, nah, I'm not saying that. On public education system because they want absolute control over your child's mind, and this is why I will continue to say that if you want 
to help the future generation as hard as it might be one of the best things that you may be able to do for your kid it's not foolproof but one of the best things that you may be able to do for your kid is homeschool your kid or private school uh take them up man just straw man to me indoctrination camps they not saying any of that shit and they're saying the quiet parts out loud because now it's coming under threat because people that were once fond of the public education system because you're seeing how much power these teachers unions have and how much bull crap that they're that that they're that they're putting that they're gonna put your child through and you have no say in it. You can't take your money elsewhere and g give it to another school. Put your child in another school. People are seeing what's wrong with it. They're upping up their propaganda because they do not want that to come under threat. Simple as that. All right. Man failed to explain anything to me. Where I say, Young Rippa, if you uh, are interested in talking to me because you name searched yourself and you also wanted to look for some crazy uh, kooky leftist to make a video of, just talk to me like like we can do it i don't care i'll even be your friend if you're nice if you're nice i'll be your friend why not that's okay anyways uh thank you all for watching that was a weird video uh he he really didn't explain uh what what they're doing to ind indoctrinate the kids and that was really disappointing so uh hope you weren't too disappointed but uh if you want more content like this, uh, like and subscribe, and uh, yeah, that's the end of that one.